hey guys, what's up? My name is Zach, and for any returning subscribers, you know that I've been wanting to do more vlogs. This will be the second one for this channel. For anyone new, welcome. Here's my channel, Zach Pope. And here we are, I'm bringing you guys another vlog today. I do take a public speaking class, and my teacher is amazing. I'm not just saying that because I know he's going to be watching this because it is an assignment for this class. But he assigned us something different today that I really wanted to take to heart because I think the topic that I'm going to be doing is a little different. It's a little more serious, a little bit scary, not really, but it's something that I think would, it's going to touch me in a ways that it's going to bring back a lot of memories from my past, from high school and everything before that. And it's just, it's, it's kind of hard and heartfelt for me. Project I had to do, it was pretty much a... I have to, I can pretty much talk about anything. I can do a rant. I can do a story. I can do anything, a how-to video, but I don't want to do that. What I want to do is talk about a letter that I have received, that I have written myself a couple years ago, around my freshman year of high school. Favorite teachers of all time, and I have to say, you know, he made us do this little letter that he said, write to yourself in the future. What goals would you have in mind? How do you hope they're doing? Just stuff like that. Remind them, remind yourself of what is going on. And so I did that. And he told us when we're done, give it to him. In a couple years, when we're graduated or sometime around there, he will mail it to us. Yeah, that's freaking crazy to say that... You know, a teacher that dedicated would be doing this for almost all of his classes through his whole teaching career, pretty much. I'm pretty sure there's so many damn grammar errors, and I'm pretty sure there's a ton of stuff in here that's going to make me look like an idiot. But that was my freshman year self. And, you know, as you can see around me, I have some of my track awards that went on this side after. I mean, this these two were from my junior and senior year. And then I even have my varsity letter that I got my freshman year. So this is something touching. I'll read it to you guys. And I just got to say thank you to my teacher for doing this. Both my teachers, my public speaking teacher for letting me do this. And, well, Mr. V, you're one of the best teachers I've ever had. So here we go. Hey, me. I hope life is treating you right. Are you famous yet? No. Damn. Well, maybe one day. How's mom and dad? How's Grammy? And even Maddie, your sister. I hope they're doing good. Do you have a dog yet? No. Yeah, it's probably because of mom. Now, this letter is for you. I have stuff that you need to remember to do. Now, I know I'm only a freshman in high school, and you're probably going to receive this after high school. But remember to keep your friends close. Never lose sight of your academics. And always keep running. Now your friends, George, Curtis, Tyler, Kyle, those are your brothers. And also don't forget about the girls in your life, like Bailey, Becca, Kelsey, and Kiana. They're your best friends too. I know you'll make new friends through life, and you'll get closer to people that you never thought you would. But as that happens, never forget that these ones, they're a part of your family. Remember, never give up on whatever you do. Love your family and your friends, because they'll always have your back. And also, are you still writing songs? Maybe you're playing an instrument. Maybe is the key word, though. As I write this, I wonder where you are in life. I wonder where you live, who your closest friends are now, and maybe how you dress. I mostly wonder, are you still a part of track and cross country? Did you go into college and actually do that? I wonder if you beat your goal by your senior year that you had set for yourself your freshman year to have. I wonder what memories you've made from it. And I hope your legs aren't broken or destroyed from running too fast. I know you are like the Flash. Never stop doing what you have a drive for. Because whatever your passion is, go for it. Even if it's changed from running to something else, do it. I remember hearing a phrase that every day is a great day. And you only get one life to live it. Also, I know your sister pisses you off, but that's what sisters do. Treat her right and nice. You're the big brother of the family. Don't stress over tiny things and live your life. You got a great family, great friends. Go for your dreams. There's nothing that will hold you back. And also, I hope you got your varsity letter. You really deserved it. You ran your ass off the first few months of cross country, and I hope they finally gave it to you. And I hope you got it every other year after that. The feeling was great. Now, there's not much time left, or space for that matter, for me to write. So I'll leave my future self with this. I'm proud of you. And when people tell you life ain't simple, tell them that's a lie. That not it's only not simple if you don't try. So always push for what you want. Again, I hope your friends and family 
anyone new you've meet is doing well. I'm sure you've made great, good, and sad memories, but they'll make you what you are. Take care, your freshman self, Zach. After reading that letter, it really did strike a lot of thoughts within me, and it brought a lot of things where a lot of things have changed. I'm not in track and cross country anymore, but I am pursuing more stuff in film and business. And even though I don't like, even though I'm not a part of track and cross country anymore, I'm still running, or I still want to run, and I still love the memories I made from it. And you know what? Reading that letter, I did hit my goal my senior year. I hit that goal that I wanted to, that I made with Mr. V my freshman year, where he asked, where do you want to be in four years? What time do you want to hit? I hit every single time I wanted to hit. I've made great friends through track and even school. It doesn't matter where I've been. I have the best family also. I love them all, even if my sister does piss me off, and she still does. I still appreciate it all. And I still think Mr. V is one of the best teachers I've ever had. No offense to any other teachers I've ever had. Because I think a lot of teachers I've had are have been great. But Mr. V has been that idol to me. He's been an inspiring person that I'm very glad I had the chance of having as a coach and a teacher and even as a friend. He's a great dude. Happy that I got to read this and I'm happy he made this, us do this. I remember some kids in class were like complaining that we had to do this. But in reality is that was probably one of the best assignments I've ever done. And so is this one because now I get to share it with you guys. And maybe if anyone who's watching this is going to be a teacher, do this assignment for your students. It might make their day. Guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. It's my second one I've done. Look out for more stuff very much soon. And also, make sure to like and comment and tell me who's your favorite teacher. Do you have a favorite teacher? Maybe thank them down below and let them know more about what you are. And Mr. V, as always, thank you so much when you see this. Thank you so much for doing what you have done for any teacher any student, any family member or friend who has passed through your life, they should be honored. Great rest of your guys' day, and thank you so much for watching.